option of five different options. So if I can ask the people who are leading the options to come forward and just to explain what they're doing, um, um, that would be much appreciated. Um, in no particular order, um, just well, the order I see here, maybe... Jonathan, do you want to come and explain uh, a bit about your course? Um, good evening. We get the first slot. Uh, I'm Johnny Ramson. Good evening to you all. And there's only one condition about coming to my five-week program: is you have to be a parent. But it's about parenting, and it doesn't matter at what stage in parenting it is for you. It's dipping in and saying, can I do it a little bit differently, a little bit better, um, and maybe now I can solve that long problem, which is, why don't my kids talk to me, or why do they behave in a particular way? So I'm doing a program which is independent, each week is a self-contained um, lecture, well, it's not a lecture, actually, it's a session, workshop, and um, you can come and bring your questions, I'm starting with an introduction tonight, and we're working through behaviour management, um, better behaviour management and thinking a little bit about siblings on the last session. So, look forward to seeing any of you who'd like to join. So, Jonathan will be running his session in classroom number one, which is upstairs. You'll see that Skype photo. That'll be starting at 9.15. Um, next, we'll go to Mr. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Mr. Jonathan Ramson. I'm the Director of Behaviour Management at Sheffield University. Um, due to popular demand, so um, I'm talking about uh, intergalactic Judaism, which is what happens when you look at uh, biblical metaphors uh, in the light of modern science. I'm not seeking to reconcile science and time, that would be left to far uh, better speakers than me in subsequent weeks. What I'm saying is, if you look at a biblical metaphor um, in the light of modern science, what does it give you? Looking particularly at a library say every morning in Adavani, about how God counts the stars, how the stars praise God. In the light of modern science, what more can we learn from that? Come at 9.15 if you're interested. So that will be classroom number two. Um, Rabbi Leitner, do you want to uh, explain? Okay, good evening. Um, I'm, uh, I'm teaching the first in a series called The History and Ideology of Prayer, which is uh, a new course written by Rabbi Michael Pollock and myself. Um, it's based on the premise that the Siddur is the book that most Jews use more than any other. If it's not, then God help us. But, uh, <laughs> um, but uh, the, the rabbis, um, when they put the Siddur together, realised that if you really want people to understand Judaism, you have to get them to talk about it often. So the Siddur, therefore, is not just a book of prayer, but also a book about what it means to be Jewish, and some of the ideologies are behind being Jewish as well. So the next five weeks we will uh, look at uh, the historical developments of the Siddur and some of the themes about being Jewish which lurk beneath the surface of some very familiar prayers. This evening we'll start with Kaddish, uh, examining that uh, very evocative prayer, what it means, what the background to Kaddish is, and why we say it, and then we'll move forward in history using various other prayers uh, looking to the present day. So that starts this evening for the next four weeks. And that will be in classroom number three. Um, and now, last but not least, um, Rabbi Tugentaf um, will be in classroom number four. Okay, thank you very much. Hello. Um, see you are I'm really happy that I'm one of the speakers and not one of the people uh, who will be listening tonight because I know what I'm going to be doing. It's supposed to be very, very hard to make such a decision, such a very, very uh, special speakers you have here this evening. Uh, my name is Rabbi Dovi Tugentaf, and I run a Halacha Hotline, uh, which is called Halacha Hotline. Um, and I go around different communities teaching different aspects of practical Judaism. So we'll be running a course on the laws of Shabbos. It's for people who, um, who do keep Shabbat a little bit, and are interested in working out what's the next step. Yeah, what's the next step from here? And so we'll be trying to speak about um, Shabbat in a very user-friendly, uh, accessible way. So that's what I'll be doing, please God. So that will be in classroom number four. And lastly, in the back of the base Midrash, which is through these doors over there, we'll be showing the film The Chosen. The Chosen um, is, takes place um, just after the war in Brooklyn, and it's about an unlikely friendship between a, a son of a Hasidish rabbi and a modern Orthodox um, Jew, um, and how they um, interact um, by Chaim Potok, um, it's based on his book, um, so that will be taking place in the back. 
Um, I think that's it. So in other words, just to recap, so you know, parenting course, classroom number one, science and Torah, classroom number two, history and ideology of prayer, classroom number three, the practical Shabbat course is classroom number four, and the film, The Chosen, is the back of the base, which is through these doors.